I have no clue what this is, Kaden. Me neither. It's heavy. Must be electronic or something. I have no clue. Open it up. Let's find out. This is ox beam. Who's it for? So what did they send us? These are light bulbs for mommy's car. Um, this is a new light bar. <gasps> for my mother's car. Because this is actually, the light bar is actually peeling. Oh. So they've said that they've upgraded these. And. An ox beam shirt. They got some ox beam shirts. Oh, what's that? These are one for me. Oh, cool. Nice material too. It looks like there is. Thank you. I'll take That's that. That's size. Yeah, medium. Medium? I don't care, thanks. They've got a new light. Oh, they still look like they're painted, though. Uh, that doesn't look painted a bit. Well, this to me looks painted. So what I might end up doing is taking these off and go getting these powder coated. Like aluminum? Uh, like I did with the shovel. Because that way they're not gonna peel. If I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it right. So this is this is um, engraved in there, so that's good. So when these get sanded down, this will still be there. Powder coating, you might not see the ox beam on there, but we will, uh, I think that's what we might do because they'll still look like they are painted. Now, it's great if you, see living here in BC, our weather is all over the place and they salt the roads. Now that salt is very corrosive to a lot of things. See, these are painted so I'm gonna take these get these sanded down and I'm gonna get these powder coated what's powder coated um, like the shovel on the the um, the bike or on my my shovel the paint that's on there oh. um, it just it it lasts a lot longer because this paint just fades and chips and peels of as we have found out the new lights, the quality, you can see on these ones, this is the flat lens. And this just goes over top. You'll notice on these ones, how the lens sits on top. It's, um, I don't think I can get that out. Oh yeah, I can. Um, it's raised. And there's a seal on this. This one, just a little bit different. So you can see the difference in the quality here too. The new ones that they've made are actually a lot a lot better. I can see that. They're thicker, um, but it's the paint that's the issue here. So these may be done right, but we're gonna go and just make sure that these things don't come off again. So we are just gonna go get these powder coated. So you can see here how it's painted peeling off on both of these it's peeled off where if you look at the front I actually painted these ones um, I did a touch-up but I mean that's only gonna last for a little bit it'll start peeling so that's what I'm gonna powder coat and these I'm going to have them taken in they will do what they need to do, powder coat them, sand them, everything they need to do. And um, hopefully we're not gonna have that chipping again. That's what I'm looking forward to. Something that's gonna withstand the elements and these should actually be made of black aluminum. Um, and if you look right there, you can see that they're not. Now I chose this powder coating company there is one that's closer. I haven't used them yet, but they come highly recommended. Um, 
because they're actually the ones that did my uh, shovel. And they're on the way to the job site, so I'm just dropping these off. And uh, I will have them see what they can do. Uh, I'm looking forward to something that I don't have to replace every year. Uh, I want something that's going to be more durable. You know, and I'll, I'll probably what I'll do is take the old ones, get them redone as well. That way I've got extras that if I need to change, I can. Um, that way I've got backups. So for now, I'm just gonna get these six done. And then once I am done, I will take the other six in and get them redone as well. And um, my guess is probably gonna cost me maybe 40, 50 bucks. It does look like they are open. Okay. All the powder coating stuff that's being done. Pretty cool. But yeah, I was just talking to him about this. He's like, that's pretty extreme. Because oxidizing. And he's like, that's pretty pitted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the other ones redone, but we're, then we're gonna try and see if we can sand this down smooth and redo these ones. It might, these might be a lost cause anyway. So, but this is really extreme. He said that the powder from China they don't use because of stuff like this peeling off. So what they're gonna do, he's like, it might happen, but not to this extreme. Because if you look at this one, this one here, it's starting but not as bad as down below. So, time to get those fixed. These will be ready in a week, so we'll check back in a week. It's hot today. It is 83, which is 29 Celsius, 83 Fahrenheit. Um, I'm just heading down to pick up my plates uh, for the lights that I have powder coated. Um, I was told already this week, so today's Friday. I'm heading down to pick them up and um, hopefully do an install on this on the weekend. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Should last a lot longer uh, than what was done in uh, most likely China. Uh, lights are great. I got no issues with the lights. It's the finishing part, uh, and I've told them like the and the the pod lights that I have are actually made out of black aluminum um, but these other ones they did powder coat them but they used a cheaper powder coat and even this guy was saying from a summit that they won't use the Chinese powder coats because they just don't last so I'm looking forward to something that's gonna last even if it's a couple of years I mean my ladder has been there for what three years four years now it's three years and I've had no issues with it uh, so hopefully this will last I know with the salt and stuff like that that are on the road during the winter time that doesn't help but it shouldn't after one year start to peel off so I mean I colored I repainted the ones in the front for the show that we had coming up um, that the, the BC Sportsman show but let's get it done right get these things installed and hopefully we're good for a couple of years um, I think this is my exit so yeah my exit let's get down there you can still kind of see the the aux beam on there but these were sanded and re-powder coated. God, these actually turned out really well. I'm happy with those. Really happy. <laughs>
taking off. What a difference. The new ones are. So old, new. This was powder coated, not just painted, so. yet. But I did the bottoms. In the front, you can see that as well. So you can see, I also put the gasket around it as well. But these are actually a lot more durable, not flaking like the other ones. just so I know what color it is to what. This has a black stripe on it, but this is also white, so it can get confused. But black to black, red to red, uh oh, red over here. These are the ones I'm looking up to. Not these ones. See, it's already confusing. Um, so these wires have to go over to here. Yeah. So let's get these crimped on. Ox beam lights. Um, they must just paint these things because whatever they do, they don't last. So since we're in a show, I am touching everything up. I have talked to Ox beam and they are sending us new ones. Um, they keep saying they've improved them. Um, but until you do these out of black aluminum or powder coat these, um, it's not gonna change. So what I might do when there's some new ones is take these in and get them powder coated. Um, and use these for my next backup. I'm pretty sure the ones they send me are going to do the same thing again. So this is just a paint touch-up that I'm using. 